As architects, one of our main documents are plans. Floor plans, ceiling plans, site plans, furniture plans, and so on. So in this video, we are going to learn some hacks, some tricks about creating the best possible plan for our project. Let's start with ceiling plans. In here, as you can see, we don't have a ceiling plan in this part and we cannot see anything about our ceiling, about our roof in our floor plan too. There are two ways that you can add or somehow show the ceiling, the roof that you have in your floor plan in your project. One of them, which I usually don't use, is simply changing the underlay section. In properties section, we have this range base level set on none. I'm going to switch this to level one because we are in first level and then the range top will be set on level two. Automatically, the orientation is look down. So if you look at this part, you can see some very grayed out lines of the roof we have in here. If I go to this 3D view, you can see the roof of this project too. It looks like this. And if we switch this to uh, like level one or any other level, you can see somehow the ceiling you have in your floor plan too. This is good because it don't get um, like that much space. It shows us just some lines, main lines and not that much detail. But if you want to add even more detail, if you want to add like um, ceiling and also see this roof, you should have a ceiling plan too. Right now we don't have it in here. If you like create levels, you can add them automatically if you check those options. For example, if I go to this West level in here I'm going to add some levels in this part before I create if you look at this part I can check this option we have this create plan view so the level you are creating will create a level itself okay and because it is creating a plan view floor plan you can also create the ceiling plan the structural plan another floor plan too okay if you uncheck um, by default or manually these options you won't have them in here okay i'm going to click on okay and the second i create my level in this part i will automatically have a ceiling plan too the reason that i don't have a level two and level one is because i didn't check those options when i was creating these sections or maybe i delete them later okay to bring all of them back we can go to view tab in here we have this plan views and in this part we have reflected ceiling plans in here you can see these two options just select them click on ok and they will be added to here okay if you go to those uh, plan views you will definitely see some more options for your floor plan you can now select it it is not grayed out it is Full black line and you can add uh, another ceiling for each room you can add lighting you can add any other detail that you want to this ceiling plan now that i am looking at this ceiling plan i can see that there are some parts missing some openings in these sections some like windows in these parts and we might have them in like normal floor plan too missing some parts missing some like uh, windows or openings and there's also a trick that you can use for this part for example in here we cannot see these uh, like windows that we had in this part this is because our view range is about the um, height of that window and we need to use another trick to show all of them in here if you want you can go to plan view again and in here you can use plan region in this part you can just create a rectangle on the parts that are below or above that view range okay this rectangle will have its own view range and you can set it depending on the placement depending on the height of your opening okay i'm going to hit finish and as you can see in here we have this view range option open this part and in here for example i'm going to set the cut plane on one meter click on apply and you have them in here click on ok 
and you will also have these lines the plan region lines if you want you can keep them if you don't want you can just simply hide them but since the uh, view range of the whole project of this whole plan is on 1.8 and the view range of this section is different i suggest do not change this because this will show the accuracy of your work and you can add like more details more explanation maybe with text maybe with some tags maybe you can add the seal height of these windows to here and this way you can present the floor plan correctly and exactly as you want with the highest level of details you can do the same in ceiling plan too in here for example we don't have it in this part this is the door opening if you check it in here we have an entrance the main door in this part but we cannot see it in here so i'm going to go to plan view uh, plan region and i will create a rectangle in this section it finish and let's change it i want to first check the view range of this section it is set on 2.3 so i'm going to go to this section and set the view range of this rectangle on maybe 1.8 let's just apply to see if it works the bottom is set on 2.3 so i'm going to change this to click on apply and you can see it in here you can do this for any other parts too for openings in these sections and also for another opening in here the interior doors in these parts or the other doors in here and the last point i really want to mention in here is about the presentation about the lines about the colors that we have in here especially on all of these walls right now it is all black we can definitely see the cut line the structural walls and the interior walls their difference and their placement but for for example a furniture plan you can change this to something like a smoother colors and now we can see details on gray colors we can see like other details on gray colors you can change their line type too for example for this part you can definitely change the mm, line type from solid to aligning line dashed lines and it will look much better on your um, floor plan but for these thick lines for these sections in here too if we go to vv visibility and graphics in here i'm going to scroll down to check if i have uh, used this method in this part or not yes in here if you look at this part in front of the walls i have this cut section not the projection surface the cut section is set on full black I'm going to open this section and all of these parts are following this setting so if you go to this cut section you can change the foreground and background i want to just make it a little bit smoother i'm not going to use any background let's see what will happen and for its color i will use some gray colors like this a little bit lighter click on ok and the pattern is set on solid you can also if you want set a background and a color for here i'm going to click on ok and click on apply to see how it looks and i think this looks much better for a furniture plan if it is a main floor plan with all of those important details you can change it to full black but in this case if you want to smooth things if you want your plan to look better you can use this method another way is to add like patterns i'm going to scroll down to wall section again in here i'm going to check this option for the background i will use the same color maybe a little darker click on ok and for the pattern let's go with a little lighter color ok again for the pattern let's go with maybe some brickworks click on ok and okay again so this is another way that you can present your cut lines the 
structural walls and the interior walls this way if you change their type if you change their uh, like setting you can present these two types of wall with two different types of patterns background color and foreground color you know how you can do it you just need to go back to override by graphic uh, and undo all of the setting we created for these parts because in override uh, in visibility and graphic it will apply to the wall family no matter its type but if you like uh, clear those overrides and come back here use this override by element in these parts you can set the foreground background and any other detail for any other parts too this way you can present a more professional floor plan ceiling plan with the details that you want so i really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and i will see you next time